Hey, Elise Pickett here with The Urban Harvest, and today I am going to tell you why putting food scraps in my compost is the last thing that I do. When you are growing food in your garden and cooking with whole foods, you will quickly come to realize that there is a lot of excess scraps and food scraps that would potentially otherwise go into the trash can. Uh, to avoid that, I have created several systems on site uh, and I am now able to get rid of all of the food waste that I produce on site, including meats, oils, and eggs. So let's dive into the five ways that I get rid of food waste on my urban homestead. The first thing I always use my food scraps for is veggie stock or chicken stock or beef broth or whatever else you and your family like to consume. But the primary use, in my opinion, should be for us, for furthering our nutrition. So the carrot tops that you don't use or the um, tomato scraps or the onion peels even, so the ends of the onion and the peels, all of that can be used to produce a really, really flavorful and nutritious stock that you can use for soups um, or even putting into your grains like rice or anything like that that you're cooking. It's a really, really easy way for you to use your food scraps before sending it outside. If you need to stockpile some of the scraps, I highly recommend keeping a little bag in the freezer so that every time you're ready to make a batch of stock, you just pull out the veggie scraps that you've used over the week or the past couple of weeks, dump them in the pot, add some water, and you're ready to go. If veggie scraps cannot be used in my stock, like brassicas or any sort of um, greens or anything like that that you wouldn't want to put into your stock, my next stop will always be my chickens. The important thing with chickens is that if you don't want to eat it, they shouldn't either. So things that are moldy or um, um, anaerobic where the decomposition has already started should not be fed to your chickens. There are also some foods that chickens can't digest easily. We're not going to go into that today. But things like um, stale bread, which although we don't want to eat, isn't so bad for them. Um, the rice that got left in the fridge too long and got hard. Um, any sort of veggie scraps, like the stems of the leafy greens that you picked or if things got wilty and they're not fun for you to eat but they haven't started breaking down, they're not slimy moldy, that can go to the chickens. They also love things like fruit. Um, if you give them um, apples or watermelon, they will go nuts over that. You can also give them um, cooked eggs. So if um, you have scrambled eggs left over, that can get tossed out to the chickens as well. The next livestock on my property that I send my food scraps to is my worm bin. Now I don't use a traditional system, but regardless of what system you use for your worm composting, uh, they love all sorts of fruits, anything that's really sweet. So bananas, mangoes, watermelon, um, anything like uh, melons um, and squash and cucumbers they go crazy for any soft vegetables also leafy greens now the nice thing with worm bins is they like already rotten food that's like heaven for them so anything that is too um, old slimy um, starting to decompose and break down that you can't use for the chickens can go into your worm bin it does not bother them and their digestion tract. It's actually beneficial to have it slightly mushy and already decomposing. The last stop for animals on my property is my biopod. I raise black soldier fly larvae to feed to my chickens. Even if you don't have chickens, I do think it is a really good way to eliminate the waste that otherwise can't be used for any of the things we mentioned. It can even decompose things that you can't put into your compost bin. So things that are oily, um, this is from a chicken stock that I made that otherwise shouldn't be put into the compost. Um, that is like a three-way use or a four-way use, right? So we ate it, then we made uh, chicken stock with it, 
then we made um, food for my biopod and then that biopod gets fed to my chickens so that is a very well used um, chain of food waste but anyhow the biopod is really good for breaking down fats, oils, and meat. So um, if you are meat eaters, you can literally throw the steak bone in there. Um, you can throw moldy cheese. You can also do things um, like a normal compost, like beer mash and coffee grounds are really, really good biopod fuel um, for the black soldier flies. Um, but it's a really good way to reduce the waste that you can't put into the compost pile. So last but not least, there is an absolute need for compost, but you can also see how many ways there are to get rid of your food waste before it goes to your compost pile. Whatever I don't use for stock, chickens, worms, or soldier flies does go into my compost. I do have an entire video that details how I compost using a hot compost pile. So if you're interested in learning more details about actually composting, click the link above. But for now, suffice to say, there are still plenty of things to add to the compost pile after all of those other alternatives for your food waste. There are so many different ways that we can reduce our impact um, on the world and to make things a little bit more sustainable um, and efficient. Reducing your food waste and eliminating your food waste on site can be a huge step to reducing the amount of stuff that goes into our landfills. We just went over five different ways that you can get rid of food waste right on your urban city lot um, without any stinky smells or anything else to worry about. If you found this video interesting or helpful, make sure to leave me a comment below. I always love to hear people's feedback. Um, and if you would like to learn more about different homesteading ideas or Florida vegetable gardening tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you're alerted every time a new video comes out on Florida vegetable gardening and urban homesteading. Have a good one.